There it is, peeking up. None of the two cow groups are in this morning. It's okay. Ty won't be here for a while, and then we're going to... Bama's group will probably be locked in for a little bit. And we'll slip adoptive mommy and hope over with them. And, yeah, equipment shuffle, clean up. You know, in the meantime, I can't even get through the walkthrough door. I've got to open an OE door to go in. Wake up the rest of the world. That's all right. People sleep too much in the morning anyway. Too many don't get to see that orb when it comes up. Eh, a few light clouds here and there. Not too bad, though. Well, Bam's group finally went in, except for most of the calves are still out here. And I'm debating, because our next move with Traveler is in this pasture. Only place I have to put them is back in that piece. And... You know, we put between four and five inches of water on that like five days ago and it doesn't look any better than this piece does yet kind of a quandary really don't know what to do I mean the plan for today was to run the pasture hair over this first thing this morning and smear the shit out and Knock the mole and gopher hills down, and of course I should have brought something with me because the fresh freaking gopher hill over there, holes open. But I didn't bring anything because I came out here to run these guys out of here so I could take the pasture harrow and go over this. But i just thinking they're going to spend some more time here. I mean, there's still you know, a lot of it's still the same height that was when we cut it. There's still some green leafy stuff coming up. There's still quite a bit of feed out here. I just like to keep the water going once we get it going, you know? So I'm really not sure. I know that little one needs to go down the lane so it'll get the other half of that little three-corner piece and it'll get some of the other one over there. Ends up getting the headlands for when we do the bottom. Where's my finger? I can't see my finger. Anyway, you know where it is. When we do the bottom straight north of the pond. Running down the lane gets the headland for that. And usually don't run. Well, I shouldn't say I usually don't. We have. We've run the big one on the headlands here. But it's kind of nice having the little one because, you know, not hammering quite as much water in a small space. I don't know what to do. I mean, the headland for this field's already been done. It got done with the second pass there. Got done down near to the riser down there. Oh, we may end up running a headland on that piece or something, which we'll get from the hay field down almost to the creek on the side hill. Rather than running a little one in the bottom, we may just take the big one and run her down there. I don't know yet. I just know that things aren't growing like they really should be with the weather we've had. Of course, we were probably a little late getting the water started, really, for as dry as it got. So that being said, maybe we'll start over. Let them have this for another... I mean, there's at least another three, four, or five days they can be on this. It's just going to put it that far behind the rest of it. But, you know, i got to get something growing. I don't know. Okay, well, she kicked part of the pump off so the gate we didn't open in far enough. Hope and adoptive mommy... Mama. Wondering what to do out here. Oh, now, baby. keep in mind, she's a two-year-old. Oh, so, oh. unless she was in the group that was in this part of the barn when she was a baby, she'd never she been wasn't. in here. 
when she was little. She no, was I didn't little. know if she was out of this one or the other one. And uh, everybody else, I brought those calves up and locked everybody in. So <laughs> they are all over there eating hay. Hopefully we don't have too big of fights. But they're kind of liking exploring anyway. They need to go over and meet the rest of them. There are some more two-year-olds in here. So. And yeah, all the two-year-olds with two. I'm sorry, Grandma. And unfortunately, the old lady still gets to stay in. I'm sorry, baby. I knew you were gonna be mad. Because her her fate is already sealed. Well, you wouldn't want to step in anything besides the freshest. Oh, hell no. Can you look a little bit higher? Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, always step in the freshest. So, we know she's going to be very unhappy. Yeah, I know, Mom. You're going to be very unhappy for a while. But I kind of figure the others will uh, come up and visit her. At least sit her by the gate. All she knows is everybody's out there. She doesn't realize there's everybody in the other barn. Neither does Hope, but maybe Hope just saw the other calves. She's going, but I got lots of room to run. If I was nice, I'd get over here and zoom it in so you can actually see. She's going, Who are you guys? Who are you guys? Oh, I remember you. And in the barn they go. Everybody's kind of looking at her like, who the flock are you? Yeah, hopefully they behave. They're going to end up. They'll end up locked up just for a little while. I'm thinking we might. Run a little traveler up the lane. Which will, I don't want them on that for a while. You do that and get some stuff growing around here for God's sakes. <laughs> Ty and I were just talking. I don't know. I'm talking about maybe putting that back in the three corner piece, but at the same time. I mean, as dry as things have gotten, um, they can probably start right back over that field it's in. Then do the three-corner piece. But, now yeah, I'm afraid I should do the three-corner piece first. That's the next one I want to put these cows on. So, we'll have to move that through the gates when we get done here. Now, I, I think that's adoptive mommy in the front. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, they're going to go through their thing. <laughs> Not much you can do to stop it other than yell at them. <laughs> By the way, just a thought, because I've seen lots of mainly TikTok videos about the lab-grown crap. Um, their base for that is actually cancer cells. Hmm. I just saw one where they are actually using a 3D printer to print steaks. What the F? So, I just don't think so. I know where my meat comes from. I mean, for God's sakes, the Packers are not allowed to put anything in a package that may be cancerous. But you got uh, Gates and his cronies. Their big idea is, oh, we're going to feed you cancer cells. I don't think so. And Blue needs his butt kicked because he's being a pain in the ass over there. We may be done with the excitement here. I don't know. Anyway, that's my two bits on that. That lab-grown crap and the bug crap. No. I kind of wonder if that's the reason all the crickets are suddenly, you know, everywhere in the, to the south. 
they probably decided to see if they could make them freaking really, really breed fast and just cover millions of acres with them. And then, oh, well, hey, we can scoop those up and make your dinner out of them. I don't think so. Once again, like I said, that's my two bits on that. I know where my meat comes from. I see it every day. And I know what goes into it. Those. Because I goofed. I came up here to check this. We already moved a little one. But when I came up here to check this before we moved a little one. From over there. You can't really tell where the sprinkler was. Come up to check it. Make sure everything's turning. I drove over this hose. I don't know why that just went to blink. But anyway. These are kind of nice. There's a good seal in here. And then these bolts go through holes that you drill. And I got the holes off a little bit. Tough shit. I did it out here. Um, <laughs> pulled it out the end. So, luckily, Ty was coming over the bridge. You know, how much of this I just did now. And how much has it been working on doing for a long time. But she was just this side of the bridge. I got her to stop. We shut the pump off. So. And went up and got the needed materials. Now we make water fly again. I ain't going to get to cut anything today. Time I would get out of here. So we're going to try to get some shit moved. Bail loader's out. It's cleaned up. She's got to grease it yet, I think. Um, I can move the bail wagon out. But I'm going to move the bail loader first. So I can park it down there to get cleaned up. And uh, then try to get the sprayer moved over in front of the versatile. That's the plan anyway. We'll find out if I get wet here in a minute. Well, the end is still on there. That little seat may or may not seal up. It's not up to pressure yet. And straighten the hose back out again so it's not kinked. Yeah, turbine should start. There we go. Nope, not yet. Sorry, thought the sound was the turbine starting. It shouldn't take much. It's trying. Yeah, click the belt, it goes. That's about the speed we want. Really, what it should do is where we're set, we're not on the smallest because it won't line up. But if I were to do something a little different, get it on the smallest one, and then we could run the turbine faster and have more power. But water's flying again. That wasn't too bad, only about a half an hour down. Most of that was having to run up and find everything I needed. And yet, sealed up. Now onward and everywhere. Right here on top of the line. If I could see the screen, I'd have it made. I think, I think they're in it. That's two of what appeared to be six of those babies that were under the bridge. A little bit ago, little bit ago there were three of them. And they were sitting right over the top of the pipes on the top wire. <coughs> Ty got a closer look and said, yeah, there's still just a little fluff on them. And if you notice, their bellies are a really, really light orange, more of a cream color. That's because they're half white belly, half orange belly. So, there's three and there's two of them buzzing around me. So, I thought I'd show you that. They're out here getting bugs like crazy. Like there's four, five, six of them buzzing around yet. So, there's quite a few up here. But, hey, some baby birdies anyway. Painful. Everybody came out but hope. So we have literally had to go back into the main barn, chase her back to the feed barn, and push her all the way out here. But otherwise, she would never find anyone. This is worse than a newborn, a few days old, getting put out.
reason this is worse than dealing with a newborn is because all she's known is the cow lock for her whole life. She's got everybody else interested in her. But we're going to take her clear to mommy and actually clear into the pasture they're going to be in so that she has half a clue. And yeah, same pasture they've been in, but she has never been up here. At least she had a chance to meet these others. No. Now she's in that pasture, hopefully with her mother. And hopefully, all goes well. Well, from what I've seen since we got Hope and adoptive mommy up there, they made their way pretty much over that whole pasture. Yeah, they were there along the neighbor's house and into the corner earlier. I figured I'd come make sure they were all up there. I mean, there might be something hiding behind the trees, but looks like they're all over there in the shade of those old dead cedars. Except for a couple that are, you know, along the fence of the three-corner piece. And we only did one pass with that little traveler. One reason is I didn't want to be out here at midnight to shut the sucker off on the second pass. Another reason we didn't want that hill too wet. And if you look, you can see the wet there. Well, I had two passes on my finger, two passes along that edge, which got that. And the one pass there, which overlapped onto it. God, I wish I could see that better. Um, but the lane going up to where the traveler was sitting, it's still up there. It's just on the other side of the fence. There. Hey, I'll get the right place I can find it. Um, when we were out there and shut that off, there was like two wet spots on that hill going up. Other than that, it's already dry. And I figure two passes with that is about the same as one with the big one. And the big one we're putting on between four and five inches on a 24-hour pass. So that little bugger, between two and three inches, I would guess. You know, we got to be somewhere in there. And it's just gone, except for where it lapped, where it got, you know, more like four or five inches. And then it got another couple inches on it. So that's that. But hey, holy smokes. There's not much left in here. Skid steer's back here because that's how I got to move this thing. I'm debating on how I want to move it and which way I want to park it. It's going to, I think, it really doesn't matter which end goes in first. I can shove it in like it is or I can shove it in backwards. Um, I think get some air in that tire because it's a little low of course you know we shoved it in here on top of stuff at the time of course there was well, there was bales stacked right to here when I pushed it in here it's down a little bit it's at a good spot for floating of course these don't do much right um I stepped it off and looked at it and figured we can go in forward or backward. doesn't matter. I mean, the thing's the same width, forward or backward. The difference is if we can push it in here backwards, if I can keep it over here far enough to clear the muffler, because I'm thinking I'm going to try to shove it up into here by the pole. Should be enough room not to encroach into that bay. And that'll get it completely under roof. Like I said, I can push it in the other way too. It doesn't matter. Either way, it might be better off backing it in. I thought about it. It's a matter of it's not easy to move with the skid steer. Well, I don't know. I can't steer it. can't put any power to it. I don't remember if the brakes are adjusted up or not. I'm thinking maybe not since we do have it blocked. As soon as I hook up to it, I'll know. If they are adjusted up, I can hook up to the air tanks and charge it. 
you know, it'd be nice to have it in the shop and finish stuff up. Even be better if I had a little 4BT Cummins with an Allison. But, you know, this is what we got, so that's what we're dealing with. And I did notice we're going to have, well, eh, most of these are still in good enough shape. That hose is original to when we built this set of booms. And I know there's a date on here somewhere. I know there is. I don't always date everything. I date most things. I was sure it was on here. Hmm. It should have been. I thought it was on there. Oh. No? Well, shit. I know I threw a date on it when we made it. It's got to be well over 20 years old, I can tell you that much. I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's minimum age. That's going to drive me crazy, because I know damn good and well I dated it. Oh, well, anyway. So that's how old all those hoses are. That's how old the nozzle bodies are, too, except for the ones that have been broke over the years. And, yeah, they get broke, especially with hill ground. Get a little lean and the old sprayer was still on springs so this one's mounted solid and uh one spring pack was bad so i ended up blocking it that is gonna drive me crazy oh wait maybe oh no that says bottom that way we knew which ladder piece was which oh it is a date ah uh, two of 99 that's what I see on the bottom of that one. There you go. So, 24 years ago. She's been over a lot of ground. Got a couple tweaks in her since, but I don't know that we've actually broke anything on it. There's no accumulator or anything, so it's all hydraulic. And the cables, we still got to hook up. Um cables and a bungee on there so when it's out when you start out they just don't fold backwards cable hooks up to up here it's one reason we kept these fenders even though they're not going to cover the other tires but that's all made to handle it then of course there's the elephant in the room god i wish that old girl was fixed up and ready to use and we know it's got a fuel leak after setting for a while. The seal on that shaft leaks. Makes her a hard start when she's running. It makes her a leaker. Not to mention all the other stuff it needs. So anyway, yeah, it's going on seven and a half minutes of me gabbing. But I figure with that, over here to this side, that leaves room to park something here or fill full of hay either one um, and I think we're over far enough here I'm sure I'll cuss it if we try to get this thing out if there's still hay in here this little slope here kind of a pain in the ass but what you do when you build on a hill um, 30 foot section we get four wide in and have a little gap I'm thinking as long as I can go tight against those bales, I'm thinking we got just enough room I can go five wide. It'll make a big difference. And look, some damn asshole on a loader didn't get those in tight. Oh well, they're in. So are those. A couple ugly ones there on top. And by the way, ugly ones are going on top for a reason. They're usually a little softer. I always try to put solid ones at the bottom. So, anyway, that's the day. Patching it for the night because Brooke and Matt headed out to Banks for the races. There's one that's full. Freaking mud dobbers got in there. Um, they headed out to the races, so they brought Blakely out. And Becky and her friends, too, are actually over at their place now babysitting. So it's like, no, I really don't want to take the kid home after 10 o'clock tonight. And, you know, I, I love Blakely. Honest, I do. She's a little fussed, but sometimes she'll lay on me and be happy when she's asleep. 
But she wakes up, and sometimes I get a smile, but most of the time she gets fussy and wants the shelf that only a mother can give them. That's what we always called it when the kids were little. The kids wanted the shelf. I am flat-chested. I don't have a shelf. So, anyway, that be what happened. I said, I'm not going to fight this thing tonight. Reasonably sure. Well, I know i got to put air in the tire, so i got to get the service truck back here. Pump it up. Go from there. Hell, if I'd have done things different, I could just hook steering to the skid steer, and I could push it around and steer it everywhere I went, right? That ain't going to happen. So anyway, thank you all for watching. And uh, tomorrow, my current plan is I'm going to cut the neighbors across the road and then go up on the hill where the red barn is. And hopefully the guys logging around the edge up there haven't thrown more shit into the field than I already picked out of it yesterday. I didn't tell you about that. Rumor is it's the same guys that logged at the bottom of the hill and I got about three acres of the field down there, I'm not even going to cut it because the shit they left. I'm either going to wipe the mower out or take tires out. Landowner's going to end up paying for that in their rent check. Because, you know, three acres, if we get three and a half, four tons of the acre, and right now the price of hay is through the freaking roof, they're not going to like that. They can take it up with the people that did the job. Same with uh, up at the Red Barn. There's a good acre I know they got out of it for the road. And whatever shit they got laying out in the field, fuck it. I'm going around it. I'm not going to deal with it. And they'll find out when their check is a wee bit short. Oh, well. Hope you had a great Saturday and hope everybody has a great Sunday. Thanks for watching.